Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another Funko Pop unboxing video for you. So today I'm going to be unboxing um, some Beauty and the Beast Funko Pops. So I'm going to be unboxing Beast, Belle and Gaston. Um, I think these were from a release a few years ago now, but I've only just recently picked them up. I got all of these off eBay. Um, they've never been out of the box, um, so they should be brand new. And yeah, uh, I think I ended up paying around 10 to, 10 to 15 pounds each. Can't quite remember, but I didn't pay any more than 15 pounds for one. So yeah, let's open them and see what they look like. Okay, so let's start with Beast. Uh, so let's look at the box first of all. So on the left hand side, you have the pop logo center you have the Disney logo and then on this side you have the number of the pop which is 239 the bottom of the box you have the name of the figure which is the beast and then on the left hand side here you've got a picture of the figure I think on the newer boxes it's actually a photograph of the figure where on these older boxes it is actually like a drawing artwork of the figure so that is the front of the box, we turn it to the side, you have the pop logo at the top, the name of the pop down the side here which is the beast and then the number here 239 and then a little picture of the beast just poking over the edge of the box there. And if we look at the other side of the box, again you've got your pop logo at the top, you've got your picture of the figure here, name of the figure and number of the figure. The background on this is just blue with what looks like fireworks going off. So if we look at the back of the box, on the left hand side you've got your pop logo, you've got the series number on here, so this says it's series 9, um, the number of the pop again which is 239, the Disney Beauty and the Beast logo, left hand side here you have the picture of the figure, the bottom you've got the Funko logo and web address um, also says pop is a trademark of Funko and then at the bottom here it's got the copyright Disney logo and then it says the Disney web address on there as well and then of course here it shows the four Funko Pops which are in this series so you have Belle number 238 which is one we'll be unboxing in a minute Beast, which is this one, which is number 239. Gaston, again we'll be unboxing him in a minute, he's number 240. And then number 241, which is Belle holding two birds. Um, I did originally want this one because she had a hood down and she was holding the birds to match him. But I could only ever find a glitter version and I just didn't like a glitter version. I'm assuming they did do a non-glitter version. Um, but I couldn't find it, so I went for this one instead. I think they have actually just brought out a new one of Belle holding the birds, um, or holding one bird. Uh, but she has her hood up like the one that I've already got, so she doesn't look very different. So I don't know if to get that one or not, um, because the only difference is she looks like this, but she's holding a bird in her hand, so... Yeah, I don't know where to get her, whereas if she'd had a hood down like this one, I probably would have got her. So anyway, those are the four ones which you can get in the collection. The background on this is the same as on the side, it's just blue with what I think is supposed to be fireworks going off in the background, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that is the back of the box. Bottom of the box just has all the information on, your barcode and everything on there. And then the top of the box you've got your little picture of Beast, the Pop logo and the Funko logo. Okay, so let's get Beast out and take a look at him. Oh, he's very heavy. He's much heavier than my original Beast figure, um, which I might actually compare him to later so you can see the difference. But yeah, here he is. You can see he's holding a little bird in his hand. And he's also got a little yellow bird on his head, which I think is really cute. He's obviously wearing his outfit that he wears in the winter scene, so his his cape 
his black pants and his like white shirt um yeah he's very very heavy i have noticed a few flaws on him already um so let's just let's get him more focused let's take a closer look at him see if we can see any other flaws he's got a black mark on his tooth his hands don't look too bad the bird here has a little a little mark on its face where they've done the yellow paint on his face um bird at the top looks okay there's a little mark, brown mark on his nose um, the painting here on his pants is not the best you can see there's a big white mark there and also on this side as well there's also a big white mark The rest of him there looks okay. Let's look at the back. Um, the plastic looks a bit weird on the back here, actually. I don't know how well it's coming off, but yeah, it just doesn't. It feels funny as well. It feels all like scratchy almost. So yeah, that doesn't look great at the back, but obviously, you're not going to see the back. Also, he's got a few marks here. I'm just going to see if they'll come off. Yeah, that mark did come off. Um, and then if let's look at the bottom. Okay, so on the bottom of his feet, it's got the copyright Disney logo. It's got the Funko information on there, the web address. It says made in Vietnam. It's also got the FAC code on there as well. Underneath here, you can also see Beast's tail. And yeah, he's a really, really nice. I do really like this. I think he looks so nice. I think this new mould of Beast that they've used for this one over the old one is so much better. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just so much nicer than the old one. He feels more sturdy, more heavy. Definitely feels and looks more like a Beast than the other one. So I will get the other one down and just compare him to that one so you can see the difference in the moulds for them. Okay, so this was the original Beast Funko Pop. As you can see, the mould for this is completely different. He's a lot smaller. Um, he's got like a lot more, he's a lot more sculpted on this one. He's very like flat. Let me focus, there we go. He's very flat on this one. Whereas this one, he's more sculpted. You can see his fur more sculpted on this one. He's just a much nicer pop. And you can see the sizes much bigger you see the size is much bigger on this one so yeah i'm glad they've changed the mold he just look, looks so much better in this one than this one this one's still nice but this one is much better so i think if they redo this one i might get it if he's going to look using this mold because uh yeah he just looks so much better in this mold than this one so now I'll give you a look at him from different angles. Okay, so here he is from the front. From the side. From the back. From the other side. And back to the front. So I'll now give you a close up of the figure.
that is B so now we'll take a look at Belle okay so here is the Belle Funko Pop so the box is exactly the same as Beast's except obviously the pictures are of Belle and the name is Belle's and her number which is 238 other than that the box is exactly the same shows the ones that you can get there and there we are so yeah it's practically the same as Beast so I'm not going to go through it again but anyway let's get Belle out Here she is, she looks really really pretty. I do like this dress on Belle, I think it's really really nice. There we go. So let's check her for flaws, there is a black mark on the top of her head. Oh we've got out of focus. Just here there is a black mark. Um, her face is okay. There's another black mark here, which is really annoying. Um, underneath, yeah, the, it's a bit, bit sharp under there. There's a big sharp piece here, sharp bit of plastic. Uh, I'll focus again. Yeah, there's a sharp piece of plastic here. And yeah, it's just all the plastic's a bit weird here, like it's like lumps that are sharp. Also a dirty mark here. Um on the bottom here. Okay, on the bottom here you can see it's got the Disney copyright logo and the Funko information, as well as the fact code on there. Let's see if there's any flaws on her cape. There's a bit of light pink paint here on the dark pink bit of her cape. There's a lot of black marks here on the front. Um, there's a little black. Oh, that's no, come off. Um, other than that, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I think she's really, really pretty. I love this outfit. Obviously, she goes with Beast. I think that look, they look really nice together like that. Like I said, I would have liked her with the birds in her hand. But I just couldn't find one that wasn't glitter. I just really didn't want the glitter one. And like I said, they are, are bringing out a new one with a bird in her hand. But it's so similar to this. I really don't need... I just don't think I need two in her winter outfit. But I'm going to see what it looks like when it comes out. Because it wasn't in the shop recently when I went. So when it comes out, if it looks nicer than this one, then I may get that one. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think they look really, really nice together. And yeah, she's just a really nice little pop. And she'll look really nice with the rest of my collection as well. So I'm going to show you what she looks like from some different angles now. Okay, so here's Belle from the front. From the side. From the back. From the other side. And back to the front. So now I'll give you a close-up of the pop.
that is the bell pop so now we can unbox Gaston here is the Gaston Funko Pop so again I'm not going to go through the box because it is just the same as the other two but with Gaston's picture and name on it I'll show you all the sides of the box go, bottom and the top so let's get him out Okay, so here is Gaston. So he's wearing the outfit that he wears throughout most of the film. So it's his red top with his black pants and brown boots and his little yellow gloves. He has his hair in a ponytail at the back like he does in the film. And yeah, I think he's a really nice pop. I like his pose with his um, hands on his hips. I think he looks nice like that. Also makes him it makes him look wider and more bulkier so I do like his pose yeah I think he's a really nice pop so let's see if he has any flaws on him okay so he does have a little flaw here you might not notice it but it's like got a bubble in his plastic um, I don't know if you'll be able to pick up very well, but uh, you can sort of see it there. But you can't, I wouldn't notice that when he's on my shelf. His face otherwise looks okay. Let's have a look at his hair. Um, there is a white mark. Oh, that's coming off. That's alright. His hair looks pretty good actually. I don't see any major flaws on his hair. And let's look at his outfit. It looks like that's painted pretty well. Yeah, I don't really see any flaws on there either. Oh, also, if you look at his back, he's got his arrows on his back. Yeah, there he's got his arrows. Obviously, when he's hunting. There we go. Um, if you look at the bottom of his boots, you've got your copyright Disney logo and fat code on there and then you've got the Funko information on his other foot, just there. So yeah, he's really nice and I don't really see any flaws on him other than this little one on his face here. He looks like a really, really nice pop. So I'll show you what he looks like from some different angles now. Okay, so here he is from the front, from the side, from the back, from the other side, and back to the front. So now I'll give you a close-up of the figure. Gaston so I'm going to put all the figures together now and you can see what they all look like together okay 
so here, here are the three figures together. I absolutely love them. I think they're really, really nice. Definitely it will go really well with the rest of my collection. Now, usually I do show you where I'm going to put these with my, in my collection. However, I have no space whatsoever on my Beauty and the Beast shelf at the moment. I have bought a new little plastic shelf to go on the top, which is where these are probably going to go. I've just not got time to get that out and put it at the top and rearrange them all at the minute. So if you do want to see where these pops are going to go, I will be doing a video where I reorganise all my pop figures and display them. So if you would be interested in seeing how I display my pop figures, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when that video goes up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little unboxing video. If you do like pop figure unboxing videos, I do do quite a lot of pop pop unboxings on my channel. Um, I tend to collect Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, Alice in Wonderland and Frozen. And I also collect all the Disney princesses as well. So those are the pops that I tend to buy. So if you're interested in any of those, then please do subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have... Like I said, please give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!